Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to bridge um, a Swift project to pre-existing pre Objective-C classes that you have. So basically, the ability to run Objective-C with Swift. Okay, so um, I, the reason I'm, I wanted to do this tutorial is I've been getting a lot of people kind of asking about it because I have these different tutorials that I've shown in the past that have libraries of code that are all written in Objective-C, and the question is, can I still use them? And the answer is yes, you can. Um, there's just a little something you have to do. It's called build a bridge uh, between them. So let me let me show you that. So I'm going to actually go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm going to use an example of this uh, streaming video, uh, audio streaming, I'm sorry, audio streaming app that I had, sh had a tutorial on a few months back that I'll include a link to. So you can see um, that as well if you want. But I'm going to show you how you can do a um, similar thing in, using Swift. I'm not going to do the whole app. I'm just going to kind of show you how you can build a bridge. If you look at the old video, then you should be able to replicate the rest of the app if you're interested in doing that in Swift. But basically what it does is there's a table and you click and you can find different beats. You click on them and it plays, plays that in there. So I'm just going to show you how you can... And this is all built upon this streaming um, kit, which has a bunch of H&M files in here. Um, I'm going to show you how you can build a bridge to these files, which are Objective-C files, and play audio, stream audio. Okay, I'm not going to make that nifty interface that you just saw. All right, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to go in Xcode and go to File, New, Project, and I'm going to build a single view application. And I'm going to choose Swift, and I'm going to call this Audio Swift 3, since I've already had a couple of these. Um, you can give your own organization, your own uh, organization identifier. Um, and then I'm going to make this just for iPhone. And yes, it is going to be Swift. So let's hit Next. Save it in my default location. <laughs> so um, I have my Swift project here. And what, so I need to bring over those files, and I have them in a finder here. These are all the, um, the files that made up that streaming kit library. So you don't want to bring them all over at once. You want to bring kind of the main file over. First, okay. Uh, I'm going to just choose two to bring over first. I'm going to drop them in the supporting files folder, copy items, group, and um, the target. Hit finish. And this is a key thing. Um, if you brought more than just in one H&M file, you wouldn't get this, and this is kind of critical. You need this, and Xcode says, would you like to configure an Objective-C bridging header? You're going to say yes. And it creates that right here. And so before I do anything in there, though, let's go ahead and we'll bring in the rest of our files. And drop them in there. Now I could, if I want to, I'll make a group so that this is in, a, in its own folder. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to um, kind of go through and show you how to get this working. So um, the first thing you need to do is you need to go and copy your import statement into your bridge. So I put um, import the audio player.h, right, which is here. And that's the kind of the main file for this library. And so that's the only one I need to import because everything works through that. And most libraries will work like that. Um, so now I'm going to go into my main view controller. And I'm going to go ahead and so... If you're in my other tutorial, I show you how you kind of make an audio player variable that is of type ST audio player. Um, I'm going to do that right here with Swift. Um, I'm actually able to do this with Swift, even though all these files are done in Objective C. And if I didn't have this bridge, like if I was to comment out this line, um, I would get an error on, on this line here. Um, 
let's choose iPhone 6. Yeah, it's going to give me an error there. But if I go back and uncomment that out, should be good to go. All right? And so now I'm going to add my lines that help me play this. Just very basic here. Um, in the video, the tutorial that I had before, I show you how you can do stop and start and all that uh, fancy stuff and choose multiple songs. But we're just going to point to one song on the web server I have and we're going to do audio um, player dot play which um, and you can figure out the other things you need by just kind of writing it down here so if I do audio player and hit um, this and you see all the other options that you have in your um, files over here um, for instance if you uh, needed to pause there's pause right so you have all these other different options. So you can figure that out. I'm not going to get into that. I really just want to show you that you have um, the ability to create a bridge so you can program it up in Swift but use old Objective-C libraries. Okay. Um, so now if I start this up, we should see... We shouldn't see anything, actually, but... Well, there you go. Play. So that's it. That's how you can work together with Objective-C and Swift. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and subscribe.